Hey guys, today's review I'm going to take a look at a nice lightweight, uh, somewhat water resistant but not completely waterproof Bluetooth speaker. Um, it comes with a suction cup on the back and it is removable. You can put a bicycle clip that is right here and this of course slides off. You can connect this to this so you can take it off and on the bicycle without removing the entire piece. Uh, this thing has a full 360 degree uh, adjustment. There are two rubber pieces inside that can be interchanged or removed so you can dial this into pretty much any size uh, handlebar and then of course you have like a screw uh, like a GoPro style uh, tighten and loosen for mounting purposes. Included in the box uh, in addition you have a small uh, carabiner type clip so you can hook this on to the speaker and carry it on your belt buckle I suppose or what have you and of course you have a standard USB charging cable like you would use for typical uh, cell phones these days almost all cell phones use those these days uh, instruction wise you have a little uh, sheet here that explains the use of the clip but it's very very simple very easy to use self explanatory but it's nice that they include that so that's good and then you have a manual that goes over all of the different buttons, the functionality, um, warranty specifications as far as the specifics of the speaker, power and output and things of that nature. And of course the box, you have uh, rain and water being splashed on the speaker is fine but don't submerse, uh, submerge, excuse me, and you have the specifications. So nothing major there. Um, what I wanted to do is basically go over the functionality and the buttons. You have your play, pause, answer, and hang up or reject call. And you have your power button. Here you have the rubber piece covering your charging port. So that keeps out the dust and the water. And here you have your track advance or your volume increase and you hold that down for volume, you tap it once for um, going forward on the track. Same here, you have uh, reversed the track or decreased the volume, you hold it down for volume. I tested this thing with uh, phone calls and with music and it works great and several people like it. Um, one person bought one because they liked it so much and another person actually tried to keep it. So let's uh, turn it on power on if you continue to hold that button down that will be your pairing button but as you just heard that uh, bloop type sound I guess is the best way to describe it is an indicator that it is paired with my phone as you can see here possibly but uh, my mom likes country music a lot and I am not opposed to it so let's see I push play on the speaker and it resumes playing the last song that I played. It launched the app, music app, because that was the last thing I had playing. Um, I played some country music for my mother and she was impressed. She couldn't believe this thing had as much sound as it did. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume up and let you hear that. All right, and we decrease the volume. Now, pause. All right, you do have an indicator light here when you charge this that will uh, light up red, and when it uh, finishes charging, it goes out. Um, this came partially charged, so I'm not exactly sure how long it takes to charge, but I don't think it's going to be a very long uh, process to charge it. 
and I think the runtime on this thing is probably in the neighborhood of about six hours if I remember um, so you should get a good amount of use out of it the suction cup is large it should stick really well um, and it did stick really well for me on a couple of things I stuck it on um, smooth plastic and smooth glass stuck really well so I, I feel as lightweight as this is it's not likely to fall um, and turn this back off power off all right and I don't know if you noticed but when I was holding down the volume button earlier you heard a, a sound and the music kind of paused that was because it reached maximum volume it will do the same when it reaches uh, well silent because it actually goes to completely silent uh, when you turn it all the way down but um, otherwise it has a nice rubbery type feel um, here on the black portion the gray portion has a harder but still rubbery type feel to it and of course you have this uh, metal uh, grill area for the for the speaker so all in all like I said it's an amazing little speaker it's just so lightweight and it puts out so much sound it gets very loud it stays very clear the song I chose wasn't the best song I guess for clarity but um, it, it puts out a good amount of bass and treble sounds fine so I was able to get pretty far away from it um, I had it in the kitchen and I walked into the living room of my parents house and it continued to work uh, probably I'd say in the neighborhood of uh, 25 feet or so and the range with Bluetooth standards around 33 feet so you're gonna get probably no problem the full 33 feet out of this uh, for the typical Bluetooth range maybe more uh, some items vary a little bit but you will get a pretty good amount of distance um, so beach shower um, I don't know wherever you happen to put this as long as you're not submerging it it should be a great little item and uh, in case you guys couldn't see it very well hopefully you can you can see the different buttons clip buttons here your charging port cover your power your play pause and your answer and reject and of course this is uh, also your pairing button okay so I hope you guys find that useful um, that is your charging port and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and I will be glad to reply and try to help or answer anything you have okay thank you for watching